Welcome, welcome to Questions and Answers. Okay, <clears throat> I jumped in to, to see to see how you guys are doing, and to answer any question that you might have. <clears throat> Let's wait a few minutes that people jump in, and uh, I'll, we'll begin. Hello, guys. Welcome, welcome to the Questions and Answers. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Remember to keep your you know, healing very simple. It's fruits and herbs. It, it, you just change your diet to the fruits, and use the herbs, the basic herbs. Five plus five kidney tea is all you need. Just get started, okay? Um, yeah, any questions, feel free to mention your name so I can, I can uh, attend to you. I mention your name as well. And, and welcome again. So, <laughs> the, the, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for, for coming on. Um, feel free with questions. How to start a detox for a breastfeeding mother. Um, breastfeeding mother. It's very important that when you're breastfeeding that you, the food, you eat the right foods because what, whatever you eat, your child will get it. Okay? So you want to be on an alkaline um, diet, but you, but you want to be a high fruit, raw vegan, and occasional cooked alkaline vegan. But you, I would not be touching any protein and starches because if you do, your child will get um, lymph stagnation, okay, and issues arising. So you don't want to do that. So make sure you can even use the herbs. I would use the CMOS, I use Fabulous 5, kidney tea, I'll use nettle seed for sure. Okay, all the herbs that you take, the child will get the benefits of it as well. So you should, you sh you should be on a detox. I would be at least. Um, Best diet for um, autism, any kind of uh, brain issues, neurological issues, it's always, always you address the whole body. So use the Fabulous 5, use the kidney tea, that's to address the whole body. Go have some fruit diet. High berry diet is fantastic for the brain, it's fantastic for the nervous system. And um, you're going to use extra herbs for your adrenal glands because they produce neurotransmitters that control your autonomic nervous system. You're going to use extra herbs for the back of your head, I mean to clean your, your head. Use neurological tincture brain for the brain and nerves and use um, circulation tincture to boost blood flow to the head region. And then you want to clean your bowels. Use a bowel strength tincture. Make sure you have good bowel movements. Uh, um, use enemas if you have to, okay? Um, and get the kidneys to filter because this issue of the brain is a kidney and lymphatic issue. When your brain uh, has the lymphatic fluid and the brain is stagnant, you're going to have issues like autism, etc. arising, okay? You want, to, you want to clean it out, okay? And to improve, you, you do use the herbs and the diet. Diet is crucial. You see vast improvements in it. Um, have you ever heard of Regeneron infusions for, no, for, for the C thing going on right now? No, I haven't, sorry. Um, this is going on around now. It's fairly new, and there's a lot of um, information out there, a lot of poor information and, and no information at all. So it's hard to um, know what's true, what's not true anymore. Um, hi from California. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. That's uh, One Yummy God Goddess. I like that name. <laughs> one Yummy Goddess. Hi, this is Ross. Ross, thank you for all your help. It's my pleasure, um, Ross. Uh, feel free to ask questions. Best herbs for um, diabetes. Um, this question is... It's, um, it depends on what type, type 1, type 2, pre-diuretic. You have to understand, when it comes to um, blood sugar issues, you always have to address your adrenal glands, your pancreas. Okay, so you need herbs for your adrenal glands, you need herbs for your pancreas. I would use herbs for my entire um, digestive system, uh, GI tract, okay? Uh, but the pancreas is a, is a weak point here, and adrenal glands, because they control um, insulin in some way, shape, or form. For instance, the adrenal glands will not only help you... Um, deal of sugar okay but also they also control your um, pancreas so when you're you have a weak nervous system your pancreas don't work properly you don't produce enough um, insulin and you have blood sugar issues remember that um, uh, diabetes is an inflammatory issue you are inflamed literally that means high acidity it has nothing to do with sugar unless of course it's processed sugar but um, fruit sugars or any kind of natural sugar is not a problem for diabetes it's not a cause of it at least the cause is infl inflammation so you've been eating animal products and cooked starches, high fat diets. This will, can, can cause your, your diabetes. So you, you need to reverse the cause and stop eating those foods and eat a raw vegan diet high in the food, low glycemic foods, and um, use the herbs to fix yourself, okay? Because you have to rebuild or strengthen the adrenal glands and the pancreas uh, predominantly. But I'll strengthen, clean the head because you know that we have the nerve center here. And clean your bowels, and clean your kidneys and lymphatic system. This is, this is a lymphatic issue all the way through. And kidneys, okay. So fix it. Face uh, spots on the face, okay. If you have any kind of uh, spots on the face, discoloration, that's your pituitary gland, okay. It, uh, remember that also your skin, any kind of skin issue is also tied to your kidneys. So if you have weak kidneys, weak kidney filtration, you you will tend to have skin issues. Okay, skin issues also related to your liver, also to your spleen. So you need extra herbs for your liver, extra herbs for your spleen, extra herbs for um, your kidneys, lymphatic system, endocrine glands, and your bowels. Okay, and I would use like a, a face oil like this, you know, something like this. This is turmeric oil. It's very very strong, and especially when you have skin 
um, discoloration issues. The, the turmeric is high antioxidant, high um, anti-inflammatory, okay, and it's going to help your skin uh, thrive. So I would use this on the, on the spots as well, okay, as I um, attend to it um, internally. This is internal, mostly internal. Actually, 90% of it internal, okay? So fix it. Hey, raw family and, hey, raw family and Rob. Hello, uh, welcome. David, how do I, David says, how do I detox my gut? Detox, change your diet. It's crucial for your gut. It's very important. People don't understand this. You need to eat very simple, high nutrient uh, dense, rich foods that are not only um, um, cleansers, but they're healers as well. Okay, so you're going to use a 100% fruit diet. Okay, I'll go on a grip only diet. Now I'll use the bowel strength tincture. I'll strengthen my liver, my pancreas, my entire GI tract. I'll work on my kidneys and my lymphatic system. Okay, and maybe add some green drinks now and then. If you have constipation, work on your adrenal glands, um, work on your parathyroid glands, because it controls sphincter, um, um, the strength of, of your sphincter. And you also want to use uh, lots of lymphatic herbs and kidney herbs to get everything going. And once you do that, you see everything work fine and you'll be good. Remember that bowel movements are neurological. Okay, so you gotta fix your nervous system, which I just covered. Okay, but to get immediate bowel movement, use the bowel strength tincture to help you. But make sure you use the fruit diet and the herbs I just specified to fix your gut. And of course, strengthen your liver and your pancreas and your um, entire GI tract. What's your view on drinking coffee? Dave, um, coffee, I like coffee myself. I don't drink it daily, of course, but I have it once in a while. Um, it's, it's not good for you at all, okay? There's nothing good in it. There's nothing good in it because the coffee itself is acidic, okay, by itself. And not only that, the caffeine in it um, also is, um, caffeine is very bad for your adrenal glands. You stimulate your ad adrenal glands, it will get weak. Anything that stimulates will aggravate. So and you, you will have a detrimental effect um, short term and long term. So I would avoid it once in a while. Okay, you know, you want to, in a social setting, you want a, a cup of coffee or you want a, a latte. Okay, uh, I mean, definitely be vegan for sure. I mean, I wouldn't have milk with that. But um, yeah, I mean, it's not good for you. I, I would not recommend it if you're trying to heal something or if you, are, um, you have a chronic issue you're suffering right now. Don't take coffee or caffeine. Um, but using fruit juices... Uh, for detox of veggies, I feel amazing. Yes, the fruit juices are far superior than the veggies, okay? And for the simple reason of because of the astringency. So when you're trying to move mucus or break down mucus, you need astringency. And that's found in the fruits. Veggies don't have it. Very few, one or two veggies have it. Like it's called um, cashew is one of the strong, uh, strongest for the veggies. But it's not uh, readily available and also it's not as strong as the fruits. So stick to the grapes, the berries, and stick to the uh, citrus fruits and stick to the melons. They're the most powerful ones you, that you can use to help clean your body out. Okay. Hello, welcome. Hi, a Adrian. How do you stop hair from shedding? Hair loss. The hair loss is, is mucus in the head region. It's systemic acidosis, but with mucus in the head accumulating. Okay. You have acid buildup in the head region. It, it literally burns the hair follicles. It will cause dandruff. Dandruff is acids being expressed with the fungus and bacteria. Okay. So acids in the head means your sinuses are congested. So clean your eyes with the with eyesight tincture. Do some ear candling. Do some... Um, uh, nutty pot with uh, essential oil to clean the nasal passage and clean your bowels. Very important because your head sits on the GI tract. It's got to be clean. So use bowel strength tincture. Use some enemas, um, and then work on your kidneys, lymphatic system, endocrine glands, bowels. You want to use the Fabulous Five and kidney tea. It's always this, okay? And um, you want a neurological tincture for the f to strengthen the brain and the nervous system, as well as push blood flow with the circu circulation one tincture, okay? And then use a hair oil, external hair oil, like we have on our website, is to stimulate blood flow externally. And then use horsetail tea. It has about 25% of its uh, volume in, in silica, bioavailable silica. Silica is fantastic for hair, skin, and nails, and uh, collagen, it builds collagen, etc. So that's what I would do to fix it. Of course, I'll throw some green drinks now and then to strengthen um, thins up and give me extra mineral and vitamins okay can i drink the grapes yes you can if you, if you juice your grapes it's very powerful grapes are very strong in itself but if you juice it it's even stronger because you are bypassing the fiber so um it's got, it, it's absorbed quickly and also it um you know it just it, it, it just destroys it, it speeds up the, the healing process sorry you know uh yes so uh, it's a good question here my name is uh, Kristen. My mom started grain when she was 13. Is there a way I can slow my hair grain? Yes, work on your pituitary gland, send blood flow. I just covered it right now. The same process for the hair growth is what you would use for the, the grain hair, but you would also use a pituitary tincture and or glandular. Um, you should get an eye reading to identify how chronic your your pituitary gland is. If it's really chronic, then use that glandular. If it's not, use the, the pituitary tincture. 
okay? Because that's the gland that um, speeds up uh, the, or is involved in, in the grain process. But you need blood flow to the head region. There are, there are two herbs I always use every day, um, apart from the nettle seed and the uh, cryptolepsis, but um, in terms of for hair growth, I always use um, circulation one tincture and neurological tincture. These two I always use because no, apart from the fact that they're great for the hair, they also push blood flow to the heart and the upper body, etc. So it's two of the uh, tinctures I love a lot because, um, like I said, it's, it's essential for that. And so you use that, clean your body, 100% food diet, and use extra pituitary um, herbs like cheese tree berry, etc. We have a formula for it as well. But that's how I do it. Just because your mom grade when she was uh, 13 doesn't mean that you are, um, you are doomed to, to do so as well. What's your thought on activated charcoal and psyllium house for colon cleanse and mucus? Um, mucus plaque and colon. Yeah, um, I would use the activated charcoal, psyllium husk, um, betonite clay, but you should also add in herbs like uh, gentian root, sakura sagrada. I would add, um, alo keep aloe in there as well, okay? Marshmallow, uh, I would add in there, and um, slippery elm, I would also add in there. You need herbs to help you in that to support and clean because um, stuff like plantain and white oak. A bark a fantastic with the pool and the, the, the pool that the, the mucus so the formula we have is, is on the website it has all those herbs in there for you but by all means you can use the activated charcoal and sealum husk and bentonite clay and it will cleanse it but make sure your diet's on point i would be on a lemon only cleanse or a grape only diet and work on your kidneys lymphatic system endocrine glands the fabulous five essentially because this is a systemic effort even though you're cleaning the bowels you want to clean the whole body okay Instagram, Instagram says good morning. Good morning to you as well. My sister has um, epilepsy. It's very serious. What can what can, what can she do? Well, I'm, I'm I'm making the assumption that she's seen a doctor and she she has the um, she has medication for it already. But I will address it personally on a natural level um, with um, even if she's on medication with uh, by fixing my nervous system. So quick, I covered it already, but I'll do it quickly again. I would use something called calm um, antispasmodic herbs. Okay. I would use that on a daily basis. I would also use herbs for my adrenal glands, herbs for, my, for the back of the head, the neurological tincture and the circulation tincture um, because the nerve center here that controls the nervous system. I would also work on uh, my bowels, my solar plexus because that houses nerves as well. And when it comes to epilepsy, you want to, to strengthen your nervous system. Otherwise, you're going to have, um, it will never go away. You just um, treat it as you are probably are doing so. So um, yeah, and you want to go a high berry diet, 100% fruit diet, but high berry. Berry is fantastic for the nervous system. And, um, and that's it. But this is work on your kidneys, work on your lymphatic system, and work on your endocrine glands, and clean your sinuses. Do ear kinds of eye washes, eye washes, massage the top of your head. You want blood flow going there. You want the waste coming out of you. Clean your bowels, as I mentioned, and you see you'll get improvements, okay? I see. Herbs to improve the immune system. Immune system is your, is the lymphatic system. So your immune system is your lymphatic system. And the lymphatic system is, is, is the only, it's like in every single cell. You have about 75% 75, 75 of fluid in a cell will be lymphatic based, okay? Fatty based lipid fluids. And their job is to remove waste from your cells. And that's your immune system. If, if it gets stagnant because the food you're eating, the protein and starches will stagnate the lymphatic system and your immune system becomes compromised. So you want to move your lymph system with the 100% fruit diet and you want to use herbs for your lymphatic system. But the lymphatic system is dependent on the kidneys for, because the kidneys filter out the lymph system. If they don't filter out the lymph system, it will back up. And this will have a, you'll be compromised in the, in the immune system. So fix your kidneys, fix your lymph, your lymph system, fix your adrenal glands because they fight inflammation, among other things. And um, clean your bowels and strengthen your endocrine glands. That's it. But the diet has to be on par. It has to be hundred percent fruits. And so at the very least, use the Fabulous Five and use the kidney tea. And then um, use a lymphatic uh, cleanser, a tincture. That's the very least what, what I would use with the diet. And you do very well, okay? Hair loss, I covered it already. Um, be sure to mention your name if you want, okay? Hi, Tess here. What do you suggest for uh, a hernia? Epige okay. Any kind of hernia, I don't care where it's located, is due to your parathyroid gland. Okay, the gland that makes use of calcium is the parathyroid gland. If it's weak and your body's acidic, your body will be sucking calcium out of tissue and yet, and yet not replacing it. And when it's not replacing it, it gets weaker and weaker and you are prone to hernias, varicose veins, spider veins, wrinkles, um, de depression, okay? Weak skin, nails, and hair. This is all due to parathyroid gland. So you need to strengthen your parathyroid gland. You, get a, you need to get a body alkalized, alkalized first, so 100% fruits diet, then use herbs for the parathyroid gland, and use Fabulous 5 kidney tea at the very least. I'll use extra herbs for the kidneys, extra herbs for the lymphatic system, strengthen the entire endocrine glands, okay? And um, yeah, and give it time, that's it. I would add green drinks in there, 
to strengthen it. Sometimes it's too far gone. You might need surgery, but I'm, I would still do this regardless because you have to address the root cause. If you don't address the root cause, it's going to happen elsewhere again. Okay, or come back again. What's good for fatty liver? Change your diet. 100% fruit diet, not even a question. The reason why you have fatty liver is because your, your liver is acidic, is using um, cholesterol, any kind of alkaline material to bind to it, to protect itself. So you get a fatty liver. It, this, this can be alcohol-based or non-alcohol-based. It's still due to the fact that your body is acidic, especially your liver. Your liver is, is literally protecting itself by developing fat around it. So you want to get rid of it. You want to go 100% fruit diet. What I would do personally, I would go 100% fruit diet, and I will use the Fabulous 5 kidney tea, um, nettle seed, uh, kidney, kidney 6 tincture, I would use um, extra herbs for my liver. So liver tea and liver and pancreas tincture. That's it, and give it time. A 30-day dark grip only diet would be fantastic for this. Okay, that's what I would do. That's, that's, that's for you, Food is Medicine 777. Nice name, Food is Medicine, which is true. Hashimoto Health. Hashimoto, uh, thyroid Health, you mean you're trying to say. Um, and active thyroid, uh, or even, even overactive thyroid, What's the cause? The cause is that you have mucus and acids affecting the function of your thyroid. It also means there's mucus and acids affecting, potentially affecting your pituitary gland and your hypothalamus because when it comes to the thyroid, those two glands control them, control the thyroid. So you want to strengthen the pituitary gland, hypothalamus, and clean the acid and mucus affecting those glands as well as the thyroid, okay? So if it's underactive, I would use the thyroid lift tincture, I would use endocrine tincture and pituitary tincture, and I would also use the Fabulous 5 and Kidney Tea. And I'll go on, on a 20 to 30 day dark grip only diet. I love the grips because they'll cleanse you fast quickly and, and move the lymph system, that, which is holding the acids affecting um, uh, your thyroid, okay? Also, to clean your sinuses, do ear candle, eye washes, massage the back of the head, um, do a nutty pot for your nasal passage, clean everything out, get it going, and then you see, um, you get relief. It'll take a little bit of time though, I have to, I have to tell you, because it depends on how congested you are, right? Uh, someone says to have fibroid. Fibroid is, is any is encapsulation of fluids. The body has literally um, barricaded uh, fluids to protect it from harming you. So you don't want the fib fibroid to be there. You have to remove the root cause, which is an acidic body and acidic uterus. Okay, if you don't, if left unchecked, it it can turn, it can wield your um, uh, your uterus to your bowels, and you don't want that to happen. Okay, that's endo. And uh, so make sure you clean your, your uterus with the lymphatic herbs. Um, I would go on two different kidney teas, two different kidney tinctures, because this is kidneys, kidneys, kidneys. Work on your lymphatic system, use lymphatic herbs, work on your endocrine glands to balance your hormones, work on your bowels, okay? And um, give it time. But I would be, for females especially, the melon-only cleanse is fantastic for that. Try, try it, uh, 20 to 30 day uh, watermelon-only cleanse or any kind of melon. And it takes you longer than that, but that's how I would start the whole process, okay? But uh, fibroids are kidneys and lymphatic system issues. How to how do we heal the appendix? Like how we heal the kidneys? Like how we heal the, heal the liver? It doesn't matter what location of what issue you're trying to heal. You have to get the body alkaline because the body will not heal in an acidic environment. It cannot. It will scar. If you are trying, the body tries to heal itself in a which it, which it does, um, in an acidic environment, you get scarring. Okay, you don't want scarring. So alkalize the body. When I fix the appendix, I would be on a twenty to thirty dark grip when he dies. Okay, to move the lymph system, I would also be on the Fabulous 5 Kidney Tea, uh, Lymphatic Cleanser, um, two different kidney tinctures as well. Okay, this is kidneys. You want to fix the appendix kidneys. Yeah, because it's inflammation, swelling, it's lymphatics, it's pressure. You want to move all that pressure, you clean the bowels, very important. Make sure you have good bowel movements, use the bowel strength tincture, use some enemas, get things moving, okay? Um, no matter where you are you compromising the body, remember it's very important that it's not localized. It's systemic. I don't care what it is, where it is. Even if you have an injured finger, it's systemic still because the lymph system has to remove any damage or inflammation from that location. So it's a systemic effort. You cannot uh, just, um, I guess you could treat it, but um, that's not the same as getting to the root cause and fixing it, okay? Um, let's see, how to stop fructose intolerant. If you are fructose intolerant, if you're, you're, if you're intolerant to anything natural, it means your lymphatic system is compromised, which I just covered the lymphatic system for you already, but I would be on green drinks, okay, and raw, a raw vegan diet, but heavy on the greens, and lots of herbs to move my lymphatic system, my kidneys, my adrenal glands, okay, when I say move, I mean cleanse it, okay? So use the Fabulous 5 kidney tea, um, kid, nettle seed, Nettle, kidney 6 tincture, adrenal gland uh, tincture I would use. I use endocrine tincture, bowel strength tincture, lymphatic, I said lymphatic herbs already. And um, go on the greens. You see that uh, in week, uh, two or three weeks as you get better, you'll be able to take uh, fructose. 
which proves to you that is the lymphatic system has compromised and you have, since you're repairing it you are getting less um, you, your, your intolerance is um, going away okay of course I wouldn't eat fruits whilst you're doing this because you are intolerant I would I would do it slowly and skin test etc before you actually um, go on the fruits again but uh, any kind of intolerance any kind, any kind of allergy is lymphatics um, love thank you that's for Meko Sazom thank you so much I appreciate it. love back to you um, I covered the fibroid already would you recommend the master cleanse diet then start on a fruit diet? No, no. The master cleanse diet is, is, is a fruit diet in itself, but it's more intense, okay? Because you're eating nothing but lemons or drinking nothing but lemons. So it's far more intense than a fruit-only cleanse. But definitely be on the herbs, whichever path you choose. I have a, 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 my own uh, make of the lemon-only cleanse. I call it the lemon on the little cleanse, and that's uh, far superior than the master cleanse. Okay, so the, this book I wrote here is called How to Lose Weight Even When You Think You Can. It's about the lemon only cleanse. Okay, it's very, very powerful. It covers everything you need to know about it, including the herbs to use, including uh, frequently asked questions. Very short. You can read it in two hours or an hour, depending on how fast you read. But definitely worth the read and definitely worth the knowledge, right? Priceless for something like $16. $16. It's, it's, it's worth way more than that once you know it. Um, so this is from... Shayna, Shayna, ah, nice name, Shayna. My daughter gets bad cramping during period. Well, I'll put, if, if it were me, I'll put, I'll put my daughter on um, a female hormonal balancer to balance the hormones. Okay, it targets the thyroid, the pituitary gland, the ovaries, and the adrenal glands. They, they are the main um, issues when it comes to the hormones, um, especially um, when it comes to cramping, is your adrenal glands. Okay, it could, uh, it's, it definitely wants to strengthen your adren adrenal glands. And kids born today, I don't know how old your daughter is, but it, it doesn't really matter. But kids born today, um, anywhere, anywhere from, if you are 45 and be 40 and below, you, you likely have um, compromised adrenal glands, okay? Yeah, so I would put on those herbs and I'll put on a high fruit diet. If she can't have, if she's young and she can't have, she doesn't want the fruits all day, then I'll be fruits breakfast, fruits lunch, and then I'll maybe have some, some cooked alkaline vegan or some steamed veggies or... Uh, maybe um, green drinks or salad, something she can tolerate. It took a little bit of time, but you see things will balance out nicely. You can reach out to me, okay? Um, one yummy goddess, uh, Sh 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 Shayna. Shayna. What's best for inflamed prostate? In prostate is a, it, you, kidneys. This is you got to fix your kidneys. This is your prostate issues, kidney issues. Nobody knows this. Nobody wants to tell you. I don't know why they don't tell you, but it's your kidneys, okay? I would be on a prostate tincture, prostate herbs like saw palmetto in the um, you know, as, just to balance out the, the prostate, but you need to work on your kidneys. So two different kidney teas, two different kidney tinctures, uh, prostate tincture, adrenal gland tincture, and um, clean your bowels, bowel strength tincture, and clean your endocrine glands. That's what at least I would use, and I'll go on a lemon-only cleanse for that, okay, for the, for the prostate. You, you have to get the inflammation out of there, and the only reason why it's there is because your lymph system is stagnant. You need to move your lymph system, and that can only be done with the fruits. Your lymph system stagnates, things swell up. Inflammation sticks around and you have a problem. Uh, what's your views on what's go what's the view on what's going on? You know the the thing that's going on right now that everyone is being f forced to use or not forced to use. Um, I don't. I be I personally believe in natural immunity, okay. But I don't. I don't push my views on anybody. You know you have to make your own educated guess on this uh, pro or against. Um, you know, I, I don't like discussing this on this channel f because it's very highly censored. But um, if, any, if it helps anybody, I believe in natural immunity. Um, hi from England. Hello. <laughs> I like England. I, I've been to London several times. Uh, what's the best way to start a juice fast? I would go on as follows. Breakfast, fruits, lunch, fruits, dinner, have a steamed veggies or a salad. Do that for three days. Then um, next three days, do breakfast, fruits, um, Breakfast, sorry, do fruits, breakfast, lunch, and dinner for another three days, and then go and go on to the juice, uh, juice fast. The reason why I don't jump into a juice fast uh, immediately, especially if coming from a standard American diet, is because um, it's really tough. It's very strong, and you're going to have a, a, maybe a, quite a bit of detox symptoms if you're coming from a standard American diet. Yorkshire, you're from Yorkshire. <laughs> I haven't been there. Uh, I'm, hi, I'm An Andre. Andre, can I juice grapes and lemons during the cleanse? Yes. Very powerful mix, Andre. Very, very powerful mix. You can have um, actually grapes and lemons. You can actually mix them together. I mean, it's not gonna affect you. But I would go like, uh, I have my grapes and I have my lemon water, my lemon juice um, constantly. I have a big jug made, you know, keep on drinking, and flush everything out. Um, thank you for, uh, sons, 
So I, I can't see your name, but Sonsi, Harry, um, thank you for being so willing to share knowledge. It's my pleasure. Nothing makes me happier. So I says type two. I covered that already. Blood sugar issues. I repost this video. You can rewatch. Okay. Uh, how did I stop the shedding? I covered that already. I repost this video for you. Um, what's the best way to come off synthetic testosterone? Ooh. See, here, here's the golden rule of the body. Everything that you take, the body will stop making. Okay, it will literally stop making. If you take, if you take uh, probiotics, if you take enzymes, digestive enzymes, the body will stop making it. Because the body, um, it, it, it likes to uh, conserve and make use of energy in the most efficient way possible. So if you take testosterone or steroids or anything like that, your body shuts its own su supply. And the problem is that when it shuts off the supply, it takes a while to get back online. But it doesn't mean that you can't do it. It's, it's actually quite easy. You will feel a slump though. You will go, for the first few weeks, you're going to feel like your energy levels and your strength levels will be very low. Okay. But when, once it comes back on board and you'll be, you're good to go. So what I would do if it were me, there's something on my website called male fertility tincture. It has herbs in there like pine pollen, bee pollen, um, quite a few powerful herbs in there that are designed um, to strengthen the uh, male reproductive uh, region, okay, including the hormones. Then you want extra herbs for your adrenal glands, okay, lots and lots of it. I would use two different tinctures for your adrenal glands, very important. They work on your pituitary gland, they control hormones as well, okay, so you want to use a pituitary gland tincture. You also want to make use of um, uh, lower circulation tincture to boost blood flow to your testes, okay, so you fix your testes, you fix your adrenal glands, you fix your pituitary gland. And then when these get back on board, you'll be okay. You'll do very well. I, I Fixing the male reproductive uh, region, fixing male hormones, in my opinion, is one of the easiest things to do. When I say easier, I mean, sorry, wrong word. It's the simplest thing to do. Uh, it just takes work and time. But for some people, most people going on a grape-only diet, not in your case because it's, uh, you took syn synthetic testosterone, but let's say you had lower levels of testosterone and you wanted to fix it, just going on a grape-only diet with those herbs I mentioned, is in, in a matter of weeks, you see improvements. Okay, uh, maybe a week, week or two, you see improvements. So um, that's what I would do for you. That's for you, Nixon Enterprises. So uh, reach out to me for the steps if, if you want, but it's not difficult to fix it. And please, please do not use this uh, testosterone, okay, or steroids or hormones. They are very bad for you. The, the, the thrill you get from pumped up muscles and big muscles is not worth nearly as much as uh, damaging your health in the long term. Look around you. Look at the bodybuilders. Look at the... They, um, they, 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 they don't live long, okay? And they, get, they suffer from uh, kidney failure, heart failure, um, heart issues, sorry, kidney issues, uh, colon issues, and arthritis. You don't want that stuff. Um, Savage Blue says low testosterone. I covered that already right now. So I'll repost this video for you, okay? Uh, so I says, uh, top stuff, Meraby. Thank you so much. Make sure you give me your name if, so I can see your, your beautiful names. PJ, so far so good. Weight is dropped drop pin down energy is better thank you for all your advice but my pleasure I'm so happy to hear that you're using the information i'm giving you so so happy nothing makes me happier to see you succeed to see you to um thrive okay all of you um watching this you deserve this like you deserve to to get better okay you deserve it and i come here every day except yesterday i didn't come on um it was, it was my uh, anniversary so i took off um, but uh, yeah, um, you. This is so simple that you just literally you're gonna get uh, you're gonna get the fabulous five, okay? And you're gonna get the kidney tea, okay? That's it, okay? That's how you start, uh, um, uh, because no complications here. You want it things to be so simple, so simple that you have no excuses, and then you're gonna replace your diet with fruits only. I love grapes only. I love uh, you can but you can mix fruits. I love grapes. I love the citrus fruits, and I love. Um, um, the melons. So you have your fill, but change. Do it today. Don't wait tomorrow. Tomorrow it never comes. Okay, tomorrow never comes because tomorrow is tomorrow. Tomorrow it keeps on. Tomorrow is is, is another tomorrow. It's another tomorrow, and you don't want that. Thank you, music ba baby thirty three. <laughs> How to slow growing uh, slow hair grain? I covered this already. I repost the video for you. You can watch it. I got a star inside my eye. What can I do? I would cleanse my entire head region, sinuses. Use eye washes. The, the eye tincture, do it three times a day. Put an eye cup, wash your eye, open your eye, let it, the, it in, 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 into your eye, wash it, ingest the eye tincture as well. It goes into your system. It has herbs like eye bright and, um, uh, and bilberry, fantastic for your eyesight, okay? And I would clean my sinuses, ear candle, eye washes, um, uh, neti pot for your nasal passage, massage the back of the head, massage your, your entire head region, clean your bowels, make sure you're not constipated. And work on your kidneys, lymphatic system, endocrine glands, bowels, and and your 
adrenal glands. In other words, use the fibrous fiber and kinetic as your base. But for the head region, you want to use neurological tincture, okay, to strengthen the brain and nervous system, and you want to use circulation tincture, very important. And that's what I would do to fix my eyes. No matter what you have, what issue in your eye, remember that these are formed on a, under acid sky. So your goal is to get it alkaline, and the steps I showed you is, is what I would use. Um, Emmanuel, Emmanuel Paris says, what fruits would you suggest staying away from? Um, all fruits are good. The only fruits I don't like using are avocados, coconuts, uh, and bananas. Not because they're bad, they're fantastic for you, just that they're not um, great uh, cleansers. But make no mistake, if you are on these uh, fruits by themselves, even on, with these fruits, you will still make massive progress. But those are the fruits I don't recommend when you're trying to cleanse the body in, in a hurry. I wouldn't use those three. Otherwise, all the fruits are, are game. You can use mangoes, pears, apples, berries, uh, melons, anything you can think of. Tropical fruits, have them. Hair loss, I covered already. If you need the hair loss protocol, please direct message me. Preferably send me on mes Messenger or Facebook on my profile link or email the website, please. No decaf coffee during detox. I wouldn't use coffee for the simple reason that it's acidic. It's literally acidic. I don't know the pH. I'm not sure about the pH offhand, but I know it's, I think it's 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 it's, it's very uh, low. Okay, so which means that it's it's high acidic high acidity. What can you use for sinuses? I covered the sinus uh, the sinuses already. The he head. You clean your sinuses. Use respiratory tea. Respiratory one tincture. Okay, the cleanse the, the has herbs like cold foot, annula, and uh, mulin. Fantastic for cleaning the upper GI tract. You also need to clean your bowels. Make sure you're not constipated. Use the bowel strength tincture. Clean your kidneys. Clean your adrenal glands. Uh, uh, clean your endocrine glands. And um, this is how you fix it. Okay. Um, I would take the respiratory tea. Okay. And I would boil it. And I'll cover my head with a towel. And I'll inhale the fumes on a daily basis. The, the f herbal fumes are fantastic for cleansing the sinuses. And then you see you're going to get uh, great relief. Okay. But you can chew horseradish root. You can use a nutty pot of eucalyptus, eucalyptus oil. It helps break the congestion. You can do eye washes and ear candling and massage your head. Okay. Hip hop entertainment. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, I covered the epilepsy already. How do I get rid of really bad eczema on my baby skin? Oh, I'm so sad, so sorry to hear this. Okay. I if I tell you that I see, I hear from people who have um, eczema for their children, like one year old, two year old, three year old. It's it's very sad and heartbreaking. Um, is this due to the lymphatic system of the parents, okay? So the parents were eating the wrong foods, the protein starches, lymph system is stag stagnant, uh, the child is conceived, child gets a weak lymphatic system, kidneys and adrenal glands, and so they have these issues. So eczema is kidney issues, kidney, adrenal glands, um, and liver issues. So you need to address those. I can tell you something, though. It's very tough to deal with. It's going to take you months, if not a year, to deal with this. But a diet has to be a high food diet. Uh, kids love high fruits. If you're taking milk right now, please stop it. Don't take this kind of milk. In, in, if you're breastfeeding, make sure you're eating alkaline food. Do not be taking protein and starches. You make things worse, far worse. Uh, children thrive on fruit and fruit juices. I don't know how young the child is, but if, when they can eat, um, they're good to go with the fruits and the fruit juices. Okay, I've helped a person. I have helped personally people, uh, um, children like this, and and they always get better. It's just that like you see flare ups, you see up and downs. It'll get worse. And it get better. It get worse and get better. Get, you keep on going up and down. You should get a consult and keep in touch with me because um, you, you definitely need um, a help um, or confirmation that when you see it getting worse because you, you're likely to run to get, go and get a steroid cream which will suppress it and make things far worse. Remember that if your liver is compromised and your lungs are compromised, which eczema uh, is tied to, I mean, in other words, skin issues, if you, if you, if you suppress it, it's going to be expressed as an eczema uh, it's going to be expressed as lung issues, okay? Potential lung issues like asthma. You don't want that. So take the hard route and deal with it on the root level. Otherwise, it gets worse and worse and um, can lead to further things. Um, Mr. Wolf, UK, I covered this already. I need help. Can you tell me the best diet for pr prostatitis? I'll do it again, more quickly, because it's quickly. Lemon only cleanse. I'll go on a 21-day 20, 20, lemon only cleanse. That means nothing but lemon, lemon juice. See the book here? Get it on Amazon. It's a lemon only cleanse, how to lose weight even when you think you can. But it's not about losing weight only, it's about cleansing the body with lemons. Okay, um, you use that lemon only cleanse, and I would go on two different kidney teas, two different kidney tinctures, two different adrenal tinctures, two lymphatic tinctures, uh, bowel strength tincture, okay, endocrine tincture, a lot of herbs I know. And I would hit it on a 21 day lemon only cleanse. That's the fastest way of dealing with this. Okay, okay. Um, my sister, I covered the ep epilepsy already. Feel free to reach out to me, okay? Goddess of, lo of loyalty. 
Why does not why does my nose not run? There are several reasons why it would not run, but the prim primary reason my head is an acidic head. Acids dry things out. Acids will suck things like it's, it's drying out. So if you have a dry nose, bleeding nose, um, if it's just like random, um, it's not caused by any other injury or, or something like that. It's usually mean your body is acidic, your sinuses are congested, and your your the dryness is caused from acids. So you gotta open up your sinuses. I, I just covered it literally about using respiratory tea, respiratory one tincture, and clean the sinuses and etc. And it will break the congestion, then you get relief. Okay. Okay, guys. So many questions. I don't think I can answer it all, but I'll be back. Okay. Hopefully to today at four or five. You know. Um, if you have any questions, please. I really want to answer your questions. I'm just one person. I can't keep up. So please send it to me on Facebook, preferably. The link is on my profile. Be patient with me. I'm doing my best. I answer questions every single day. I actually spend about 12 hours on social media answering questions. So um, trust me when I tell you that I'm doing the work. Um, but reach out to me on Messenger on, on Facebook page. Links on my profile or on direct message me here. It'll take time, but I'll get to you, okay? And thank you so much for being uh, here. It means a lot to me. I will come back. Be stay on the fruits and the herbs. Keep it simple. All you need is a fabulous five. That's it, okay? And get your, your fruit diet and you're good to go and you succeed. Um, thank you so much and bless you.